uses you know large large file then you have to move forward okay to complete your execution of flow so in that case you can hold your flow okay for processing a large file there can be various scenario where you can use where you can freeze or where you can hold your mule flow so i am going to show you how can you how can you use a groovy component to hold or freeze your mule flow so i will start with creating a new application file new new project let's wait it will open a new dialog for you so you can give a project name so let's wait just it was initializing in my workspace okay so it has opened that i will say freeze mule flow for run time i will keep it 3.8 in your environment it can be a multiple run time you can select depending on your requirement rest of the setting i am not going to touch i will say finish once i will say finish it will create a empty application for you so you can start designing your flow let's wait was taking some time because my workspace is still building generally it doesn't take this much of time it happens in the seconds okay so dialog has been gone okay it was creating the workspace okay now you can see a canvas so first thing i will drag and drop http listener to the canvas i'm going to configure it quickly go to http properties here under the general setting go to connector configuration click on this add button plus sign and keep all setting as a default and say okay for path i will say halt for allow method i will say get okay now next thing i will drag and drop logger to see what is happening so here i can say flow execution started next thing i will drag and drop a groovy component you can draw okay let me go to groovy i will under script test i will start writing my script where i am going to hold my mule flow for 20 seconds i will first let me uh, declare date i will say date equal to date new date okay then i can print system dot print ln and say flow started at plus date fine now i can say slip for 20 fine for 20000 millisecond means it means for 20 seconds fine now again i can initialize the date date equal to new date then i will copy this line and i can say flow resume at and finally i will set payload here i can say flow execution completed So what we have done in Groovy component, we have just set date, and this is the important statement: slip twenty thousand. It means it will slip for twenty thousand millisecond. It means twenty second. The flow will stop here. Okay, I am going to show you with practical example. Let me go here. I will change it. Port. I will go to Postman for doing testing. Let me enable run the project. I will say okay. Let's wait while our application is deploying. It will take some seconds to deploy your application. If everything is fine. Okay, it is deploying. So you can see your application has been deployed. Now I will say send. So you can see you are not getting your response back. Here you can see the flow execution started. Here you can see. the flow started at 23 may 23 
okay 11 o'clock 9 minutes and 14 second so let's wait so still you can see you haven't got a response let's wait now you got a response it's saying flow execution completed if you see flow resume at after see you can see the difference this is 14 this is 34 after exact 20 seconds the flow has been resumed okay so this is how you can halt or freeze your mule flow okay if you like my video just subscribe to it thanks for watching my video